Today we are looking into a very different world of rugby, uh, the world of fashion. And I understand it, I get it. It's not what rugby is, it's not what rugby's about. It is a pet peeve of mine when I sit there and my own mother comes in and goes, Oh, I like their uniforms. No, all right, that's not what rugby's about. Rugby's about getting muddy, playing some footy, trying to hurt each other while having a bit of fun. But saying that, today we are going to look at all the Rugby World Cup jerseys that have been released for each team, home and away. Then we're going to rank them from best to worst, giving our list from 20 all the way to 1. Well, let's start off, we're going to start off with Paul A and with the All Blacks, a very, I'd say, simple uh, design, love the collar, love everything about it, um, just a straight up black. Obviously, there was a lot of talk about the ferns and how they were designed and designed by a Frenchman, righty, righty, ra. I wasn't against it as, as much as other people were. Um, I can see why people didn't like it, and I can totally get that, Um but for me, I, I thought this was a really nice jersey, and um, it's not one of my favourite All Black jerseys, um, but I thought it was a really nice jersey, a really subtle touch. Moving on to France. Going with the dark blue, sticking it to the darker blue for, for World Cups they seem to do. I, I, I like it. It's simple. Um, it's very... I, I would have loved a bit more design and a bit more French flair to it, um, but the jersey is very French. I love the away strip. I think the away strip looks amazing. Um, I don't know if they'll be wearing it at all. On to Italy, who are sponsored by Macron, who are like the official jersey or suppliers of merchandise suppliers of the uh, Rugby World Cup. Um, a lot of their jerseys, Macron, they've kept very simple. This one's got a nice little touch with the uh, pattern that they've got across the body in the blue. And then the white collar with the white uh, armbands. Just very simple, very Italian. I like... The lighter blue for the Italian team, but this does the job, I think, for me. But similar to the French, I really like the away white strip uh, for them, which I imagine they will be wearing against the French. Um, same, exact same pattern, um, but just in white. Namibia are uh, probably the hardest jersey to find photos of, but I've managed to find these two. Um, and look, it's simple. It, it has a pattern and stuff. I think it looks... Uh, yeah, just for that, it doesn't hit. I think uh, I get like all the colours, obviously, very Namibian, but I think they could have come up with a bit of jersey to make a statement. And to round it out, Uruguay from Pool A, uh, they're only going to wear their home blue kit uh, once because they can't wear it against Namibia, can't wear it against Italy, can't wear it against France, so I believe they'll be wearing it against the All Blacks uh, when the All Blacks have the black. Um, I, I like the kit. I actually really like the, the light blue one, um, but their away kit, which is what we'll see more of, or the alternative, is what I, I, I don't like as much. Full B now on to South Africa. Um, the spring box, simple, traditional, love the green, um, love love the home kit. The away kit, taking a massive risk, and they will be, it'll be quite funny seeing them lift the trophy with that kit um, because it's just not very South African, which I, I like that they've done that. I've now, Ireland, um, a lot of fans are very divided on this one, especially from Ireland as well. I like the dark, slightly darker green. Um, I think this is a very light green, and then the white collar and the white edges. Look, I wasn't a fan of this jersey either, and even when I see it, I'm not a fan. Mac Hansen is, is slowly turning it for me, so I don't know if he's just a fantastic model or I'm actually getting around the jersey a bit more. But, yeah, to me, this one was a little bit... It's obviously, there's nothing much on it, and I think they could have done a bit more with the designs. Scotland kit, uh, another one from Macron. Um, when I first saw this, I really disliked it. I thought it was just plain. It's growing on me. It is. I like the sides. Um, very Scottish. Uh, I just think they could have done more. Again, this is what I'm kind of getting out with the Macron kits. I just feel like there could have been a bit more, and it wouldn't have gone overboard. And then the away one, those white kits, alternatives, I do, I'm getting... I'm, I'm very excited to see a couple of those because I, I do like what I've seen there. Um, I think they've they've knocked that one out of the park for an alternative kit. On to Tonga FXV. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm nervous to judge this one too harshly because I just don't think the photos quite do it justice yet. I think it's going to look like a really good kit in person and watching them play on TV. Um, I like the, the patterns and everything they've done with it. I think they could have been, it could have been a better kit, but again, it's one of those ones where... It doesn't wow me. I'm not like, wow, what an amazing rugby union kit. The Romanian kit, uh, the full yellow, just love it. And this is Macron again. And normally 
I'm all about like, you know, they've kept it too simple, but I like the simplicity with the added. I love the, the band and then some more designs up the arm, and they've, I just think they've knocked it out of the park. The Welsh are a proud rugby nation. Macron again have kept it simple, but I love it. I love it. The red synonymous with the Welsh, the white collar. Um, again, I would like to see a bit more up the sides and up the arms if there was, but I like if they're going to keep it simple, they've done the right stuff with the simple to bring it out. And then when we turn over to one of my favourite kits, the away kit, I just love this black and yellow again. When you're in the away or alternative one, you can take a bit of a risk, I think. Um, unless you're the All Blacks and try a grey kit, don't do that. The Welsh kit, I just go, wow, that's that's a fantastic design. Again, just very smart. I love all the features of it. So, yeah, well, Wales to me have done a really good job. The Wallabies, um, the more and more I look at it, the more and more I'm disliking it. Uh, it's just, it is, it, it's just a jersey to me. Uh, Essex obviously done it. Uh, it doesn't stand out. It's the green and gold. I would like to see more. This is one of those ones where I'd be, if it was a Macron jersey, I'd be, you know, sitting here going, I need to see more. Um, so look, it does the job for the Wallabies. It's green and gold. It, I just think there could have been some more to it. Fiji with Nike. Fucking love it. Absolutely love it. Love their home kit. I think it's, again, very simple with the collar. I love a collar. Um, and then up the side, I would have loved to see a little bit more design up the up the arms. But other than that, I really, I, I just think it's simplicity with culture and and just some key additions. And then with the away kit or the alternative, they've taken a shot and they've smashed it. The basics with uh, Macron, uh, very simple design for Georgia. But I like it. I like what they've added with their logo swirl being added as the, as like the main centerpiece as a faded design in the background. The red is nice. I actually like the alternative, the white one better. Surprise, surprise. Um, but I just, I think, yeah, the, the, the simplicity of this one works because they've got that extra piece in there to make it work with Macron. So, and then to round out this pool, Portugal, who Macron again, um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the checkered look uh, on the red and the two shades of red. Look, uh, yeah, it's just, this one to me is, there's too much going on, which is funny because I've said this whole time, Macron, but it's like they've tried to do plain with a lot, a lot of plain, like, it just to me, yeah, like, they're, like they're playing chess and they really should have been playing checkers, so. All right, our final pull before our rankings, England's kick us off in pool D. Uh, look, what can you say? I like the white. I would have liked a little bit more red in there, um, but again, you can't go wrong. It's very much like the All Blacks to me. I think you put out a white jersey with the red rose, it's going to bang. Um, designed by Umbrio. And then with their away jersey, I'm so torn on this one. I, like I say, I love when teams shoot for the fence and or shoot for the sky, should I say, try and hit it out of the park. Um, I don't think they've hit it out of the park, but I think it's a single going to a baseball term. They've hit a single. Like, I like that they've taken the risk. I like the jersey, the style of it. It's obviously not... England to not be playing in white is very odd. Um, but I do like what they've tried if they were to have to wear the alternative. Pan for me, you know, don't seem to get it too wrong because they know their identity. And again, the white and the red, it's the fact that they've got so much that they already know, like they are the white and red stripes. I like that they've done a little bit of a, a different with, you know, it looks like it's a circular motion of the white and red stripes um, going across. CCC sponsored, I like the... the uh, non-collar but the look it looks like a collar type thing um so i really like that for their away jersey um same design and i like that they've kept it the same design but very different colors i, I actually think this works really well um and i actually quite enjoy the jersey one of my favorite uh teams who have released their jerseys argentina have knocked it out of the park when i say you go to sam simplicity and what you know for your home jersey which is smashed blue and white stripes um nike again done it really well Collar, I love. I would have liked like a, another little band at the end of the arms, but other than that, I think, wow. And then their away one, to me, is I, I think is awesome. I think it's a great, they've taken a shot, like I said, you take those shots, and I think it landed. I think they have potentially a top top three uh, jersey pairing at the World Cup. They've, they've stuck to what they know in their home jersey, and their alternative when they have to wear it will come out looking really good in it. Ah, oh, Macron, we're back again. Yes, Samoa, bitterly disappointed now. I don't know, like to me, Samoa is always a slightly lighter blue than what we've seen here. Um, so I would have liked that anyway. And then I just, to me, it doesn't have a lot of 
Samoa about us, just a dark blue jersey. You could put that out there and put a Scotland logo or a Namibia logo or I'm trying to think of other dark blue teams and you wouldn't it wouldn't be a miss, which which is sad. Like I wanna see a, a nice jersey for Samoa. Um so yeah, I just I just think they've missed a spot and gone way too simple. And then to round us out, Chile with Umbrio uh, as their sponsor, their home kit. I'm not fan of um i just think again it's basic but got a a checkered pattern type of look it just the pattern doesn't work and then yeah to me it just doesn't doesn't look good it'll probably look a lot better on the field uh i do really like what they've done with their away kit though i think that's exactly what i want to see like i wish they just kept the same pattern but on the vice versa and had blue and white um designs coming out of the sides and then um blue and white armbands i think that would have been really cool Alrighty, let's run through now my top 20 slash. I'm going to do top 19, and what I'm doing is I am removing All Blacks from it because I'm a biased All Black supporter, and if I can remove that, take them out of it, um, and we can just do everyone else, and you guys can fit in the All Blacks where you think they deserve to go. So let's start with 19th place, last place in the jersey rankings. I've gone with Namibia. 18th place is Portugal. I talked about how much I didn't like their kit. Unfortunately, they fall to 18th. 17th, uh, Macron with the boring Samoa jersey that they've designed. Um, yeah, bitterly disappointed with that one. 16th, Chile. And then 15th, Scotland. Both of these were kind of like, eh, to me, didn't really hit anything. The Wallabies uh, round out 14. Again, another did the job one. Tonga 13. Fits into that did the job category. In 12th, we have Ireland. I then go 11th, Uruguay, and 10th, England. I think, again, did a, a reasonable enough job to represent those nations. 9, 8, 7, all are about the same where I'm like, you could interchange these and I wouldn't even be mad. I've gone with France. I think they've they've done the basics well and I'll give them points for that. A home World Cup at 9. 8, Japan. 7, Italy. Again, both of them stuck to their roots, but their roots look good. So... Yeah, uh, you know, why not stick to it? Six, I have the spring box, who I think, again, took the risk with their away one. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I love that they took the risk. In fifth place was Georgia. Macron again, simple, but this one I felt was a bit more effective than, than a Samoa type one. Fourth place goes to Romania. Another Macron one, I believe. Uh, but it was just, again, I just love the yellow. Top three time now. Wales came third for me. I love the slickness of the alternative. Two... We have Nike with Argentina, and that means one, we have Fiji with Nike again. So I have Nike as my top two. Argentina, uh, I like love the slickness of their home one, and they're, they're just, just keeping it simple to what they are. And then the, the risk they took, I absolutely thought was fantastic. And then the big one, Fiji, I just, I'm in love with their away one, and I may be even more in love with their home one there every time I see it. So I'm hoping... Fiji are going to look good and play good um, because I've been talking them up like no end. But that has been my top 19, top 20 rankings for Rugby World Cup jerseys. This will be the last, like, you know, non-rugby specific. Like, like, do I look like a fashion... I'm sitting here wearing a pink singlet for the All Blacks. I'm no fashion guru. But I thought I'd just deliver what I thought about the jerseys before we get into our predictions that will come next week in the World Cup. Uh, lots of games happening overnight Slash, I'm recording this on a Saturday. It's going to be a Sunday tomorrow, so I'll wake up and see all the results based out of Aussie. But for now, thank you for joining me. I've been Luke from the Sports Booth. If you enjoy these videos, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. We will see you next time. Goodbye.